Linda, it's Morgan. Hi, I'm hoping Morgan. you'd have time so I could get you checked off for your yearly competency on proper Is that time again already? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm not going to say anything. I just want you to do your normal thing. I'm just going to check you off as you go. That's okay. Okay. You know, I've been doing this for almost 30 years. I don't know why I have to get checked off every year. Okay, Morgan, that'll be fine. Great, thank you. Okay, so I have this nice baby here we can use. I think that'll be fine, too. And I've already gathered up my equipment. Um, let's see. Oh, I do remember there's kind of a new thing that we have to clean the baby's diaper area with, um, with this baby wash before we get started. So I'll do that. I'm supposed to use a 4x4 four four and some baby soap, but I don't think I have any in my drawer, so I'm just going to use a paper towel. It's a good thing this baby's on Pavillon, so she stays still while I'm doing this. I guess I could get somebody to help me hold. Right. Okay. If she wasn't so cool. Um, the other thing I think I remember is you can, uh, for girls, you can put a cloth diaper or something up underneath their hips so that you can uh, reach them better. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now the sterile part. This is what I'm really good at. I chose a five French catheter. There's a whole bunch of different sizes and I just kind of guessed at what size is, is the best for her. And this one came with the kit, so that was easier. I usually just throw my trash on the floor. Now there's some way you're supposed to open this, but I don't think it really matters. I've been doing it so long that I'm just going to open it up any way I can. Now there's this sterile um, cloth in here that we're supposed to put up underneath the baby. Or if it's a little boy, we can put it over the baby. So I'm going to stick that there. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're using Betadine now instead of um, Chloroprep. So I, that'll be good. Throw those there. Okay, I'm going to go on and get sterile now. I didn't go into um, surgery because I always had trouble with these gloves. Right. And they can be tricky. Not when you're a seasoned professional like me. Okay, so there's lubrication in here. Put some of that out so it's not difficult. This is the Buretrol that collects the urine, and I'll have to put that up when I'm done, so I'm just going to hang it here somewhere. Okay, now, whoops, well, that's the catheter. Okay, here's the catheter. I want to make sure that it's got lubrication on it. Um, now, let's see. This is my, this is my dirtier hand, and this is supposed to be my sterile hand. Oh, I forgot to clean it. Silly me. All right, here's the betadine. I usually start out here on the thigh and go in because I think that covers. Oh, I got some on her hand too. I think that gets the best um, coverage if you start way out and you know go out of the anus a little bit too because that's always a dirtier area. We're supposed to use three swabs, so I'll be using all three of them. Sometimes I just use two because it depends on how dirty the baby looks. And then this last one, oh yeah, I forgot to open up her lady here. Um, this last one I'm supposed to go start from the top and go down, or maybe it start from the bottom and go up. Well, in any case, you use the last one down the middle. Make sure that's clean. It's supposed to dry for a while, but it's almost time for my lunch, so I'm going to just help it out a little bit. I think that's probably good enough. 
Okay, so the catheter, see, did I put what the patient on or not? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so here's my catheter. I'm going to, this is my dirty hand here, so I'm going to use this hand. I'm going to place the catheter until I see urine. Oh, yep, I'm in already. See, I mean, I told you I was an expert. So then this connects to this. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, it's slipping out a bit. Let me just shove it back in. All right. So the skin care committee is always talking about duoderm, but I don't really have time to do that right now. So I'm just going to get finished in time for my break. So securing it is what I'm most expert at. I always used to like like to use a lot of tape. And I just put it like all over, oh it's still not dry, well I'll just add extra tape so it'll be sure and stick. I put it all over the urinary meatus and get it on as much skin as possible. I guess that betadine won't hurt, maybe it'll kill some more germs. Okay, I think that'll do. And then this Let's see, where do I need to hang this? Yeah, I guess down here. I'll put it in the door. Alright, I guess that's it. Well, Linda, I don't think I could check you off this time on your proper urinary catheter insertion. You should review the policy and procedure. Are you kidding me? Thank you.